The meter test module comprises several views. The test view is composed of two tabs where you can define settings and test points. Starting from the settings tab, we first define the measurement conditions. The drop down menu allows the values to be set as either secondary or primary, where the CT and VT ratios are applied. The time sequence of a meter test starts with the warm up time where the nominal voltages are output. Next, the test begins the defined startup time. During this period, all the test parameters are output without starting the meter pulse recording. Keep in mind that this time cannot be lower than the setting time defined in the test object. This way, we can ensure that the meter stabilizes before starting any measurements. After this period, the time measurement for the meter under test is started. We can keep the default values for this example. Enter the ambient temperature and relative humidity. These values do not affect the test but will appear in the report. We will measure the active power that is being exported. This option is already selected in the measured quantity box while the remaining options are disabled. If a multifunction meter has been selected in the test object, you have to specify all of the quantities to be measured by clicking the respective options. As mentioned in the previous video, we will be using the CMC as a reference. However, you can still use an external reference meter as your reference. This reference meter's accuracy is then the reference accuracy for the error calculation. The reference meter data has to be specified, including the meter constant. This data can be updated, imported, and exported for later use. The test tab contains the information for the test points to be executed. There are different test modes available depending on your application needs. In this example, we will apply a load test to check the meter's accuracy under normal operating conditions. The CMC test set outputs a set amount of energy until the meter feeds back the specified number of pulses. Check out the Help section if you want to see definitions for the other types of tests. In this test, we will output a pure sinusoidal current. Other current waveforms are available for testing the behavior of meters with harmonics or DC components. For a balanced three phase system, you can specify the values of voltage, current, power angle, and frequency. Note that the power angle has been set to zero since we will test the measured active power according to our definition in the test object. In the detail view, all parameters can be specified independently for each phase. Apparent, active, and reactive power are indicated for each phase and the complete three phase system. The test quantities are displayed graphically in the phase or view by the voltage, current, and power vector diagrams. Now, you only have to define the test itself by entering one of the nominal values, that is, the total amount of pulses, the energy to be injected, or the test time. For example, we enter five pulses. The energy and total time are calculated automatically. The tolerance is set by default to the meter's class specified in the test object. The number of test runs specifies how often the selected line of the test table is executed. If you select the Pause Test checkbox, the currently selected test line is paused before being executed. Use the Define Trigger dialog box to define the message to be displayed when the test is paused. You also have to specify the trigger condition that will cause the pause test to continue. You can choose to have a button pressed condition, a binary input, or a combination of both. Now, run the test and check the results. The test line has been assessed as passed, as indicated by the green tick.